Okay, so today we're going to be in Microsoft L, so click green X, and then it's either going to say Excel workbook or blank workbook, click choose. And we're going to be making a timetable, so times table. So in the top left I have cell A1, I'm going to leave that one blank, and then I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm actually just going to drag and drop. And I actually have to back up a little bit and select two cells here, that way it sees that it's increasing by one each time click when I get the black X right now it's white now it's black I'm gonna click and drag it on over and it'll just go up by one each time since it's relative I'm gonna do the same thing starting in cell A2 going down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now we're gonna to have to start multiplying them so anytime I want to do a formula of any start sort I hit equals first and I want to multiply 1 times 1 so cell B1 times cell A2 and so I'm going to click on B1 and hit times which is shift 8 it's the asterisk and then enter and I'm going to click where I want the next formula to be equals and C1 shift 8 which is asterisk and times A2 enter and I'm just going to keep going equals D1 shift 8 which is asterisk times A2 and I'm going to keep going here F1 asterisk times A2 and keep on going and I'm going to continue to fill out the chart here. I'm going to speed it up for you in just a second. I just wanted to copy that all over. Now I want to copy it going down but I can't just drag and drop or else it would lose this B1 um, and it would go to B2 and then B3 and B4. I don't want it to multiply by the next number up. So what I did just there was I added the dollar sign in front of the B. So I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to add a dollar sign in front of the C. That means stay in column C. And then I'm going to add a dollar sign in front of the 1 also. So in front of the C and in front of the 1. That way it always still stays in times C1. So when I drag it down it'll be um, C1 times C11 equals 20. Now the dollar sign in front of the D, dollar sign in front of the 1, and that way it's always times D1. And I'm going to go over and do the same thing for cell E, and the same thing for cell F. Cell F, dollar sign in front of the F, in front of the 1, dollar sign in front of the G, in front of the 1, dollar sign in front of the H, and in front of the 1. And this locks it in so that whatever I'm multiplying is always times that first row. So it doesn't move down, it's not relative. If you have a question on that, come up and ask. I might be able to explain it better. So dollar sign and dollar sign in front of the K locks in on the K and dollar sign in front of the 1. And then I'm going to highlight all that information in row 2. Highlight it all there and move so that white cross, the right plus, white turns black and then I'm going to drag that black cross and done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and put my mouse up beside the K and I double click in the, in the double arrows and it resizes everything automatically. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my data here, click and drag on up and this is the outline. I'm going to change and I'm going to click all borders to just give a border to this, give some um, boundaries for my numbers. And this is left justified, this is center justified, and this is right. I'd like them all to be centered, so I'm going to click on center. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the top column, top row, and change my background to black, change my font color to white. I'm going to do the same thing for the first row, highlight it, background to black, font to white so it sticks out what I'm multiplying and then I'm gonna make this a little bigger I'm gonna highlight it all here I have my font size I'm gonna bump it up a ways and let's see let's make about there we go um, now you notice some of these are the number signs so I need to readjust that I'm gonna highlight all these get the double arrow highlight all of the columns get the double arrow and double click and it resizes automatically to fit all of them and there you have your times table
Then we go into File and Save As. We're going to save this specifically as um, four times your name with dashes in between. Save it somewhere you'll remember. I'll do the desktop hit save. And then go ahead and upload it to your Google Classroom. And you are done.